What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a special unboxing video and that is the Target exclusive Star Wars Escape from the Death Star game by Hasbro. Now this is uh, a re-release of the original board game that came out back in the day and as you could tell they kept the aesthetic kind of the same of course uh, with this whole retro stuff that they're doing uh, they're adding this kind of effect like you know the box is worn out and you know it's it's cool and everything like that but I understand like they're trying to you know give it that retro look and then plus you know extinguish the old uh, board game from the new board game and another big one is obviously and which is special about this board game is that it does include the uh, Retro collection uh, Grand Moff Tarkin action figure now if you guys weren't aware Hasbro uh, Announced that they are going to be releasing uh, a retro collection version of the uh, characters back from you know the Kenner Star Wars line and so right now their plan is to do uh, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, and a Stormtrooper. And also now they have uh, Tarkin here, but this is the only way to get him is with this uh, board game, which is, you know, I, I, I guess it's a, a marketing kind of ploy there. But anyways, it's cool because we get to, you know, actually check out the first retro collection action figure and I know these guys, the rest of the uh, figures are supposed to be releasing, I think at the beginning of May. So um, they should be hitting up targets. Now this board game is hitting up targets, not all of them. I'm in Texas, so it did take a while for me to actually find it. It took, I had to go visit like three targets just to find it. And so I don't know, you know, if it's gonna sell out or not, but uh, here it is and I just wanted to do an unboxing video. This is my first time opening it up But just to show you the box so here like I said This is kind of the same box art as the original game and then on the side here You know you have Star Wars the game of the the title of the game and then of the course the uh, Kenner logo there and then if we turn it around on the back side uh, they did keep the same back as the original board game. It was all in black and white and they kept it the same Of course, there's obviously new additions to this and of course you have the Disney and then the Hasbro logo there And then a picture of the retro collection uh, Tarkin action figure and then you have websites back here and all that so that's what you have there uh, I did take it out of the plastic just because it does give that uh, with the lights and everything in here it kind of reflects it so let's go ahead open up this bad boy and see what we got so right off the bat you can see the uh, the spinner oops you can see the spinner here for the board game uh, you can see the cards uh, I don't know what's in here besides the spinner I think this is a spinner and then of course you have the little uh, slot here to hold your card so you have all your cards here and then I believe the characters, uh, maybe they're inside. So here, everything's separated by this white cardboard, which is really nice, so it doesn't damage the card. And we lift it up, and there we go. The uh, Retro Collection uh, action figure by Hasbro. And this is a beauty. This is really nice. I mean, uh, I uh, like I said I'm kind of like on the fence about this whole like retro effect here but this is really cool so there he is Grand Moff Tarkin really cool action figure I'm not gonna take this out I'm probably gonna get this graded just just for the heck of it uh, now this a lot of people were asking was this actually like an effect or or was this printed on excuse me or was this an, a sticker and it's actually a sticker so you could feel that and so I guess it's up to the people, you know, when they buy it, if they want to take that off. I'm not. I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want to damage the uh, card back there. So this is really nice. Uh, so there he is, uh, Tarkin, and he does have his blaster. And also about this blaster, um, they did put, they did stamp it with like a number. I believe his has a five on it. And so that's really good for, you know, collectors of vintage Star Wars action figures out there. So they don't, you know what I mean? Like people are not trying to resell it as a vintage weapon. So that is really nice that they did that. And I'm glad they're looking out for collectors out there. And so here's the back of the card, which is really nice. 
Uh, you do have, you know, the characters, and these characters are coming out in that retro collection. So there it is. It's all, you know, it totally tells you this is a retro collection. So that way people can't try to resell this as a vintage Star Wars action figure, which is really nice. And of course, the biggest one is the Disney and Hasbro logo. But this is really, really nice. Uh, so bubble looks really clean. Uh, it does have the checkered pattern around it. So that is really, really nice. And of course, uh, he is all encased in his own little like. Uh, bubble there so that is really cool so really neat there and of course the rest of the game you have uh, you know you have these pieces here to put your characters on the little stands so they all come in a little plastic and of course here you have uh, the different characters and then you can place them in the stand so that is really cool uh, you do get of course the instructions on how to play the game so there it is. I really like how they uh, printed this out. You know, it does kind of give that retro feel to it. So that is really, really cool. Uh, and then, of course, you do have the actual board game. Let me see if I can take this out. All right, I don't want to damage this figure. So I'm going to put them off to the side there. And here's the board game. So really nice. That is really cool. I love the color and it's got the scenes there and everything like that. So that is really, really nice. Uh, so <laughs> and then you have the trash compactor there. Uh, so that is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys were wondering what was inside the box, there it is. And there is the first retro collection action figure by Hasbro. And I'm really digging this. And like I said, I don't want to take it out. Uh, I'm probably just going to send this off to AFA and just get it graded because, I mean, this is kind of cool. And, you know, I am kind of, uh, I, I am going to collect the the, uh, the retro collection line. So as soon as I get those, I will definitely do a video on those and show you guys. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will talk to you guys later.